Guys, what's up? Welcome back, Krusty Customs Garage. Episode one, we begin this build. Well, I already began it, if you watched the intro video. Long story, memory card failure, tons of information lost. I just did a brief overview of the car. Uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is just give you a little more info on the car now, as it sits, and then tell you what we're gonna do today. So let's do that. All right, first you can see the front and rear bumpers have been removed. You can see they're gray. I have a really cool uh, SEM product, SEM. It is a bumper, flexible bumper paint that I've used many times and it is awesome. So we're gonna refinish those in another video. Fuel system, that's what we're on today. As you can see, there's some stuff missing. Intake manifold, tons of vacuum lines, carburetor, it's got a new fuel pump on her there, uh, wiring everywhere that I need to basically just hide away. Um, here is the pile of nonsense that came out of it, with the exception of that, which is a, an Escort card, which I uh, just recently acquired. But I think I am going to go with a Weber. I do have the adapter for that already. We just need to plug off a bunch of stuff, do a little bit of wiring. Put it all back together. The main issue that I have now is that I'm waiting on parts. Intake manifold gaskets, uh, valve cover gasket, I'm gonna replace that while I'm in there. You know, may as well. Today, we remove our fuel tank. So I've already got the cover removed. I already have the sending unit loose. Now I need to get the 10, 10 millimeter or eight 10 millimeter bolts off of here. So let's going to set you off to the side here. We're going to pop these off and yeah, move on to step two, which is dropping the tank, which I have no idea what tools I need. So you'll be along on the ride. As I learn, hopefully you guys learn if in case you need to do this, you'll, uh, you'll hopefully have the tools you need to get the job done. So it's going to set you right there and pop these off. I just got to grab trusty tools just get this stuff off of here and again I'm just learning so if I'm doing something wrong, feel free to fire away at me in the comments. So these should just come off like that. Holy shit. Yowza. I didn't expect that. Let me show you what's going on here. Wow. Okay, so we've got your filler neck comes down into this rubber hose, which I have to take off to get the tank out. Now what I didn't anticipate are these lines. Um, no idea what all that shit's for, but it's connected to the fuel tank. We've got one, two, three, possibly four. Looks like a fourth line way down in there. I know you probably can't see that, but I think there's a fourth line that runs maybe more. Good Lord. All right, so we're going to get these off and uh, be right back. All right, guys, we're back. As you can see, got the clamps off here. These hose, this hose is loose here and here, hopefully. All these hoses are off, finding some rust here. Found another little hose, that little hose we talked about down there. I could not get that hose to budge, so I just did the right thing and cut it off. Um, there's a lot of slack on these hoses, so it won't be an issue if I have to trim an end. This one had a little split in it. Trim it back a little, just jam it on, off we go. Um, there was this hose, which kind of has a little grommet. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. Either way, there's a grommet right down here, kind of behind all these other connections. And it had this tube in it, and it just lifted. She just pulled right out. Not sure what that's about. Anyway, now we get to do the fun part. We're gonna put the car up on jack stands and we will 
see what it takes to get the fuel tank dropped out of here. Wish me luck. We'll be right back, guys. Stick around. All right, guys, we're back. I've got the car up on jack stands here. I got a couple of I got a couple of lights up under there. You can see jack stands. I got my gas tank jack. Can't find the handle. Um, yeah, I also have these these lights, Harbor Freight Specials, and a couple brightness settings on them. But they more importantly, they got a magnet on the bottom and a hook. So you can use them anywhere. Unfortunately, I think they're clearance, so I think they're gone. But I have three of them. And also, I have this, the Icon Premium Creeper. This baby's wide and low, and it also has this. Over here and over here, it has magnetic little deals, and also I think it's magnetic here to catch your nuts and bolts. Same thing on this side. 56. So I have an array of tools, wrenches, sockets, little impact driver. You know, got it. Gotta have that. Anyway, we're gonna get under there. We're gonna start getting wrenching on this tank. So wish me luck here, guys. Hopefully, I don't rip too much shit up. Be right back. All right, guys. Smooth sailing so far. I'm at the back of the car. Did find a couple of things. I'll show you. This muffler's got a little hole in it, front and back, so that's nice. I don't know if you can even see that, so we'll get some light on it. Yeah, look at that, huh? Got a hole there, got a little hole there. Ooh, tailpipe. But the car itself, holy shit, guys. Nothing. Crispy, minty, beautiful. This car doesn't belong on this channel bolt here no doubt a bolt all the way over there and i have this bolt you probably can't see it but the parking brake cable has a little bracket that attaches to the fuel tank and of course it is a different size than all the bolts that hold the tank in and now it's off it's actually a nut okay so that is off and what I usually do, because I'll lose this nut, is just stick it back on there so I don't lose it. Now, the nice thing here is I should be able to uh, just zip these 12s off here. What the shit? All right, um, do see a couple little swipeys on the bottom of the tank. It is dry, so that's good. So that bolt in the back is about three quarters of the way out. This bolt, oh yeah, she's she's ready. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get my jack in position, and I'm gonna bring you guys kind of kind of over here, hopefully. Hopefully you get to see the festivities when we put my hand right in the middle of the lens because studio quality. All right, here we go. I'm going to run over the other side with my jack and get it underneath and get it in position. Right, guys, boy, I can't see shit. All right. Um, I think that's it right wow look at all those lines oh ford you guys are fucking crazy okay. all right so that bolt is out i'm just gonna move all of this valuable stuff out of the way no doubt i'm gonna take a fuel shower not a lot of fuel in the tank though i did drain most of it out. So I'm wondering if I should drop that side of the tank because the filler neck is attached. Maybe I can drop that side down a little bit. All right, big jack, get out of me. There we go. And 
those of you saying that there is, they should have a piece of wood or something on the bottom of the tank, I should, but I don't. All right, so I'm gonna come back around that side, take that other bolt out, and that'll be all bolts out of the tank. Well, all right, guys, I'm back. Um, not really a good way to film that. Yeah, and I didn't want to have to censor like 20 to 30 F-bombs, but it's out. And once I figured out the combination, you know, 18 right, 17 left, two to the right, boop, and she turboed out the driver's side. So I'm going to take you to the passenger side, though, because I want to show you, in case you've never seen what one of these looks like without a tank. There's the tank, of course, laying on the floor. We've got your, we've got your spider's nests, but what we don't have is rust. Oh, I'm so thankful for that. Not a lick of it. This car really is entirely too nice to be on this channel. Crusty is not uh, a term I would use for this car at all. I was gonna nickname it the Crustiva, and the only crust I've found really is on the uh, exhaust and a little bit on the rear of the car behind the bumper when I took it off. So let's go around the other side and we'll pull the tank out so you can get a look at it. There's that rust behind the rear bumper here. Figured I'd stop here and show you. Not really, just one hole, little tiny hole there and a little one starting there. I'm gonna go to a junkyard, trusty sawzall and just mow all that out. Bring it here, weld it in. Bob's your uncle, done. All right, so you can see, here's here's the tank. Uh, it's got some issues. This port here is really rusty. I don't know if you can see my finger. That's all rust. Here, I'll pull it out. It's just a little guy. All right, so we'll, I already had the sending unit out and everything else. I'll just show you everything. You can see, totally disgusting. It's uh, it's way rotted. Um, some people have said that you can let me get that gasket out of the way. Many people have said that you can take these apart, clean them up with something, denatured alcohol or soak them, and just look at that shit. Strainer is screwed. I don't know if I can even get a strainer. I know I can't find this unit anywhere. So what I think I'm gonna have to do is maybe make a plate. Eventually, I'm just going to reuse this one. I'm going to hose that strainer out as best I can. Stick this back in there. Make sure it's getting uh, fuel. Hold on. Let me just give it a blow. No, don't take that the wrong way. Wow. First of all, we'll spit that out. Uh, yeah, I just blew down there. Of course, flow would come the other way. But I tried blowing that out. <laughs> Here, check this out. Listen again. I'll put the, put the strainer by the camera. Listen to this. I was blowing as hard as I can. Oh, it's so tasty. I was blowing as hard as I can and really getting nowhere. So, yeah, this is at least going to need to be cleaned out and probably a big reason uh, the car was taken off the road in the first place. Um, the other thing I'd like to do, I'm going to grab a light, is show you guys what's in the tank and it is it's something to behold okay so let's take a look here yeah i think i can get that light in there yeah look at that shit look at this let's see if i can get my camera in there don't drop it sean it's gonna be upside down folks i'm sorry but we're gonna try to stick you right in the tank I have to try to clean all that crap out. Filler neck area. I just don't. I'm gonna have to edit that audio out, huh? I just don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna put my hand right up in there now. Try to clean off the bottom. Oh god damn. Oh wow, it's so thick. It is thick, fellas. Holy shit. Check this out. I'm going to bring a little pinch. 
Look at that. Oh my god, my light just fell into me. I guess it's still working though. But yeah, you can see that's just, let me run my magnet over that. Not a, not a whole lot of magnetism there. I'm surprised. I thought that would be all stuck on there. But I was going to say, hopefully we could see a little shiny in the bottom where I rubbed that out. But don't take that the wrong way either. Um, let me try to tip the tank. Oh, God, this fuel fucking... Ooh, I have to edit that out. Prop the tank up against the tire here. So most of the fuel is down in the bottom. Looks like really, really old coffee. All right, so if you look there, you can see where I was rubbing the bottom. This might not be as bad, but if you can see right to the right of that, some real heavy rust. Let me just rub my fingers on that and see if that comes off. Yeah, great. Um, I mean, yeah, it comes off, but boy, is she nasty. So I'm going to give this a swish around, and I'm going to dump it in a drain pan. But i got to get set up for that. So I'm not going to have you guys watch me get a drain pan, and I'm going to dump, I'm going to swish this. I'm going to try to dump it out of the, uh, out of the, the filler. So that means I'm just going to probably just jam a screwdriver in the top here so this stays open so it doesn't flop like that. I'll be right back, guys. Stick around. It's going to get interesting and gross. All right, guys. Just going to shake this up a little bit. Excuse the angle of my shot, but it's starting to rain, of course. This is just the preliminary shake. Boy, you can just looking at the sides of the tank. Just wondering if I should just bite the bullet. She is really rank. I know, I know you guys watching this, if you're a Festiva guy, you're like, you can save it. You can save it, man. Well, you know what? What if I don't want to? You want to save it? Anyway, I'm gonna give it a shot, okay? I know some guys are like, get, get your pressure washer out. Get up in there, pressure wash that thing. Let it air out for a few days. Come back to it, do it again. Let it dry, and it should be fine. Yeah. So, I just gave her a little shake. You, you saw what I was doing, about 30 seconds worth. Um, let's, uh, Took my shittiest screwdriver. Um, I don't know how this is gonna work. Let's just dip it. It didn't work out properly. Well, I can tell you that little door closed. All right, nothing. There's nothing coming out. All right, so this little spell door works pretty good. I don't know if there's another something in there. So I'm going to do the right thing. Like Derek on Vice Grip Garage always says. I'm just going to make it work. You know? Let's just... Oh, my old friend duct tape. Let's see if we can get something to feed here. I'm just going to make a wad of it, jam it in there. In the open position and see what happens. Almost like I've done this before. All right, so, all right, tell me what comes out of here. Man. Nothing. <laughs> There's something in there. It's just not. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm going to shine a light in here. I'll see if you guys can see it through the other side. I'm going to see if I can see it through the other side. Because honestly, you would think we would see a light through there, right? Nope, hold on. Stick 
to something, would you? see the issue. Alright, so this tube that the filler neck attaches to, it doesn't stop right at this front part of the tank, it extends into the tank. So when I'm pouring, there's not enough in there to, uh, to flow into the tube and out and into my retired shop vac container. So, plan B. Let me find it. Give me just a second here, boys and girls. Because I'm always prepared. You know, I obviously know exactly where all my shit is in here. Psych. Uh, boy, honestly, I'm a little stumped here. Just a minute, kids. because the first time I ever used it, it just started pouring fluid out. Alright, so this has probably about a quart and a half. Hopefully it'll reach. I'm going to try to get as far in there as I can. Hopefully you guys can see this. Oh yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you guys are going to love this. Let's get you in there. I know you're going to want to see this. You ready? Bam. Look at that. This is what was in the tank. This is what is still in the tank. But it's going to take me a little work to get it out thanks to that extended tube right here. Like I said, this doesn't stop here. It goes like further. It goes like further in there. You know, I think I'm going to price the tank. Uh, she deserves to have a really minty fresh fuel system, and I don't think that that's ever going to be minty anything. Unless I figure out a way to describe rust and crap as minty. That being said, let's switch it around. Uh, I think with that, I'm just going to do a little bit of searching for a tank and that i really hope i can find that um yeah if any of you have a nice fuel tank for an 88 carbureted carbureted not fuel injected festiva here yeah hit me up crusty customs customs with a k crusty customs at gmail.com for the sender or the fuel tank or if you just want to say what's up either way it's fine if you haven't liked shared subscribe shame on you uh a thumbs up would be cool but we're gonna do a lot more with this car you can see the back got the back all out of it i'm gonna put a a nice floor in there i'm deleting the seats seats are garbage those uprights are spot welded on those are coming off and it's gonna have nice flowing panels from the new door panels all the way around over the shock towers all the way covering up the back this rear panel I do have, it's gonna be upholstered to match. The floor is a surprise. Um, I have a, a proper switch on the way. This is from a newer vehicle, a newer Festiva that has this plug. We went over this in the last video, but if you need that switch, also comment below or send me an email, crustycustoms, gmail.com. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, here's the door panels, let me show you the new door panels and then I'll show you why we're getting rid of the old door panels. Here's the new ones. It's got the pockets in there. If you want those pockets, let me know as well. I'm not looking to get rich on this stuff. 
not using the door pockets though. I'm going to be putting some audio in the doors. So, hell, if you want the whole, the, the pair of door panels, shoot me an offer on them. Uh, I can easily make these myself uh, with some masonite. So, you know, I, I don't like the idea of carving up a, a nice, you know, to be honest, about as minty set of door panels as I found. Um, I just need to trace those out. The big reason why is because of this. I don't know if somebody couldn't get in a car or somebody, like maybe this is jammed up. It's still a little sticky. I don't know what the deal is there, but uh, this is like permanently tacoed. It's just, you know, yep. And it's split in the back right here. Driver's side is fine. It has your typical around the handle splits. I do have a product coming to test for a little guard to go around the door handles. I don't know, I'm replacing the seats. I haven't decided what seats I'm going to put in it yet, but these are just, you know, just, oh my lord. You know, what people are doing a dirty mic and the boys. I think we're in here, but you know, it's, it's all split. What do you expect? It's an old car, but she deserves to be taken care of. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna make the, I'm gonna bring this car back to better than stock. Let's be honest. An original Festiva, brand new at Ford, sitting on a lot back in 1988 to 93. Not the best quality car in the world. So let's, let's improve on that with some soundproofing, some better suspension, some better wheels and tires, a better running engine, a nicer exhaust. I'm gonna learn a lot along the way and I wanna tell you, I'm not a professional. Um, I mean, look at my garage, obviously. I mean, geez, bomb went off in here. But what I do have is a YouTube channel that I can share information on. So, and I would like you guys to do the same. If there's something I've done wrong or something you would do different or you have a suggestion, comment or email. Thumbs up, thumbs down, middle finger, whatever you want. Um, on that note, please share these videos. Um, hopefully somebody along the way has gotten some help. Uh, real quick before I go, the fuel tank removal is kind of a pain. So just remember they have like five lines over where the fuel filler neck is. But also, underneath the car, there is another line. It's just a little, I don't know if it's a vent line or what it is. It's quarter inch. Uh, remember to remove that. Four bolts, four 12 millimeter bolts hold the tank to the, to the chassis of the car. And then there's the one 12 millimeter bolt, or 10 millimeter, 10, that holds the parking brake cable bracket to the fuel tank on the passenger side. After you get all that off, I cut my filler neck off, the rubber part. It, I could not get that off, it's crispy. So I gotta get a new one. So, yeah, that being said, if you have any questions or you need any help, I'll do what I can. No promises, because I'm, this is my first Festiva and I have never driven this car, except pouring some carb some fuel down the, uh, pouring, some, pouring some fuel down it, and down the carburetor and driving it from here to right about there. And then having to push it back because fuel system screwed, obviously. Wish me luck. I wish you guys luck. Have fun with your Festivas and whatever you're working on. Yeah, I wish I had a catchy phrase like, like I don't know if you guys watch Puddin's Fab Shop, but if you don't, Puddin's Fab Shop. Puddin. P-U-D-D-I-N. Puddin's Fab Shop. He is awesome and funny, and I've learned a lot from him. So... I guess uh, he's kind of inspired me to like learn how to weld eventually and do like my own fabrication and like build my own stuff, which I'm going to start doing soon. And I'm going to steal his catchphrase, not really steal it, but it's kind of a dedication to him for this video. Sitting on your ass won't finish your project. So get out there and get it done. That's what he says. So that's what I say. Puddin, you're the man. Derek. You are the big inspiration for this channel. Derek Bieri at Vice Grip Garage had the chance to talk to him on the phone and do a little biz with him back when he first started really getting mainstream on YouTube with my vinyl decals. Awesome to see him and Jessica kicking ass. So, and also while I'm here, I may as well shout out to some other friends that I have made along the way. This is the 
uh, logo for Budget Builds. Michael over at Budget Builds, you can kind of see his sticker there that I made for him. Budget Builds is another channel. He takes old, rusty cars and brings them back to life, kind of like me, except this one. This one's not rusty. All right, I'm going to go look for a fuel tank that isn't going to cost me more than my mortgage. So, thank you so much, guys, for tolerating me, and there's going to be plenty more to come on this car, including a couple twists with the rear, uh, the rear area, the rear hatch area of the car, as well as the dash area. Be ready for that. Like, share, subscribe. Again, thanks for stopping by, guys. I appreciate every one of you. If you haven't subscribed, please do. My... I'm only like 15 away from 200, so that would be a cool little milestone. And share the hell out of this. I'd really appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much. I'm Sean. This is Krusty Customs Garage. See you next time.